this NNPD Pelican is one of the greatest Halo sets of all time, and we'll probably never get a set like it again. Let's talk about one it. One of the greatest Halo Mega sets of all time, this set was released nearly 10 years ago in 2015 for about $200, maybe a little less with 1800 pieces. It came with four good minifigs, a bunch of display pieces, and what could possibly be the best Pelican we've ever gotten from Halo Mega. So let's jump into the builds and see how good Mega really did. Starting off with the extra tower, this thing is jam packed full of extra detail and just fluff that doesn't even need to be included in the set, but the fact that it is is just fantastic. The entire thing is using a snot technique, so the front of the build looks really good with tiling in the middle just to give us some depth as well as a rockway that we can get figures through and a little wind. Window. The window is completely see-through, there's no glass between it, but it looks pretty good and it goes right to the control panel that we'll see on the other side. On the other side, we get a decently full interior with a control panel, little orange canisters at the bottom, as well as the doorway on top. There's only one section in here that really doesn't have anything, but on the bottom right we have these cool orange canisters. The top right we have a doorway as well as a cool little health pack and a keypad, and even a crate too. On the top left we have a control panel which is completely printed and included a bunch of nifty details that you just wouldn't get from anything else else. There's even a Super Nintendo logo at the very top right. And with your imagination, you can imagine this dish is connected to the radar on the bottom. It can move around from side to side, and the antenna moves a little bit, but it's pretty stable, which is nice. The roof does have these yellow bar pieces, which are a little bit fragile. We also have a turret on top, which isn't super detailed. It's completely done to great, but it can move in 360 degrees as well as up and down. You can fit a minifigure on here, and it's great for play. Structure, though, pales in comparison to this massive landing pad. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this from LEGO or Mega. It's huge. It is a truly massive massive display piece and can fit the pelican just fine as well as a ton of other minifigures for display. It's got lights and reflectors lining all around the side that are a little bit fragile but it adds an extra bit of detail that wasn't needed but is absolutely welcome. It looks so good and it makes this landing pad just look even better. But they do break off easily so don't lose these things. The absolute best part of the landing pad though is the pad 4 insignia in the middle. It looks so amazing. It has printed tiles on the four corners and everything else is done with just yellow colored tile. It may not be perfect but it just completely pulls together the entire landing pad and turns it from something that could just be a black slab to a really detailed piece. Only downside to the landing pad is that it can warp. Because of how large the pieces are over time, it can bend slightly and you can see a bend here in my landing pad. With that said though, using it for its intended purpose works flawlessly, and the pelican fits on here and adds just enough weight to make it not bow too much. Sheesh, that looks so good. But moving to the front of the star of the show, the pelican just looks absolutely phenomenal from nearly every single angle. The front piece is back from the original pelican, as well as the color issues that were on the original pelican, but it looks really good in this scenario. Updated are the sides of the cockpit, getting us closer to the perfect angle for the pelican. There is no wall or anything between the interior of the cockpit and these two pieces, so you're going to want to keep these closed during flight. The other side of the cockpit is the exact same, except with the red translucent tile instead of blue. It also says police under those pieces on the cockpit, which looks really good too. The underside of the pelican also deserves much praise. The light spins around and it just looks so good. It looks so much more complete than the original one did. The light also moves very smoothly and isn't going to fall off easily, a problem that we had with the original. Of course, the cockpit still opens and reveals a very nice interior that's a little bit more detailed than the original too. We've got control panels on the front and in the back, but still no seat back there. Above the cockpit, we have my two favorite pieces which aren't painted this time, I'm a little sad about that, but we do have lights above them too. They look really good and I just love how detailed they are. Mega did a great job at updating the side to make it a little more girthy connected to the wing while still giving the entire bulk to the wing itself. It looks really good and they even tiled off the front of the wing. The underside of the wing is back to its former glory, completely built up using a snot technique that gives us turbines and a corresponding translucent piece for the light. The top of the wing is mostly studs but has a few pieces just to represent some minute details. The wing itself is still one giant piece with dots on the very end. The wing still has color coordinating flaps on it, as well as turbine engines at the very back of the more thicker part of the wing. The flap in the middle can be moved down to reveal a little great piece. The top of the pelican shines and is detailed with these awesome pieces in the back that have completely printed detailing. The prints aren't super big, but what we get here is just simple yet awesome. I love it. And of course, we have the same feature that we've gotten in the last few pelicans. We can open this thing up. Can be difficult to find a place to grip, but thankfully they don't have anything sticking out of the pelican this time, so it's all flush and it opens just like this. The interior is amazing. It has four seats still, but it just has so much room. Plenty of space here, and even has an entire aisle in between the seats. It's just so much room. Just like your mom, the middle is thick and includes plenty of space. I love that we get these chairs in here too that are flush within the wall. Looks so good. Mega even included space to put weapons on the hatch. If that wasn't enough, the tail of the pelican looks awesome. Lots of suds showing, but we 
do have a couple printed pieces that look great and some triangular tiles just to add some color. The winglets are about the same as they were before, just a little bit more detailed. We even get a printed piece for what I think is probably an intake and their lights corresponding to red and blue on either side. The middle is just given a few pieces to add some depth and looks really good, nice and curvy. The thrusters on the back are once again on ratchet pieces and can move completely up and down until they get stopped by the winglet. They look really good and it's very stable. There's more police printed pieces on either side, which is so much better than stickers. You cannot tell me any different. And they even included a vent that's completely flush with the set. How do they do that? The thrusters are good. However, the flaps on top won't stay up at a certain point just because of the part quality, but most of it is pretty awesome. The thruster pieces on the back still look great and everything is much smoother than it ever has been before. It looks very well made and accurate. And they even included a little turbine at the bottom of this big thruster engine. All in all, the shaping of the back of the Pelican and the tail just look really, really good. And Mega did a fantastic job with their parts library. Finally, under all that, we have a huge improvement with the landing struts that actually stay where they're supposed to go. The friction is perfect here and they look so good. Seriously though, this is peak Pelican. No extra pieces necessary, no rubber bands, nothing. Just classic piece building and it's perfect. Ramp on this thing is also amazing. It's so much easier to pull down and gives you a ton of access to the interior. It truly is the best ramp we've seen from Halo Mega. So good. With all that said though, the best part of any Halo Mega set is the minifigures. Or at least that's how it should be. But with this set, I would rather have the Pelican than these minifigs. It's not that I don't like these figures. The Chieftain, the Pilot, the Sergeant, and Mickey, they all look really good. I just think we could have gotten more figures or more ODSTs or something else. I know this is an NMPD Pelican, but we only got two NMPD people. Where are the rest? Chieftain in the set is beautiful, but because it's using that older style, it lags behind all of the other figures. So even though it has the best printing detail, everything, it just isn't as good as the other ones because it's older style. In no universe should a brute be more stumpy and smaller than a regular human soldier. From every angle, you can see how much effort went into this brute though. I mean, look at that side arm. It just looks so good. Back is the least detailed part and it still looks great. This figure should have been when they transitioned to the newer style. But my biggest problem is this arm. I was unfortunately given two right arms with this figure. So I have the right piece for the forearm, but the shoulder is the right arm. So I can't bend it the way that it's supposed to be. This is an unfortunate error that happens with Halo Mega and used to all the time with these older figures and just proves that this should have been newer style. Apart from my complaints about the Brute, the other figures are just good. They're not anything to write home about, but they're good figures and I'm glad that they were included. I really like this pilot. I like the helmet. It looks good. He has an MPD printed on the shoulders, which not all of these soldiers do. And the back is fine. It's just normal. The sergeant looks great, but it's not really anything special either. For the signature series set, I would have expected something a little more. Don't get me wrong. It's a good figure, but it's just another police sergeant. It has the same printing too, which is great, but the back is just as plain as the other figure. The star of the show is supposed to be this Mickey, but this one isn't great either since the 20th anniversary character pack released a few years ago. It's another awesome fig and one that we only had in this set for a really long time. It's just missing a few details that the new one has now, like a UNSC logo on his chest plate, better printing on his arms, and his signature backpack. This figure lineup isn't bad, it's just sort of mediocre. <sighs> This is an absolutely awesome set by every measure. I mean, every single little detail that we saw, even the figures aren't great, but they're not terrible. This set is amazing and this truly shines the design and the build of Halo Mega. There's so many pieces in here that only exist with Mega and they are just perfect for this set specifically. And it's definitely in the top two of best Pelicans we've ever gotten. But sad to say that we're never gonna get another set like this again. Unfortunately, these days, it's hard to find mega sets even at a store, let alone something of this size. I just don't think will happen unless something changes with Halo or with Mega in general. It's pretty disappointing to see what once was this amazing franchise getting creations like this dwindled down to a few sets a year with nothing more than $100 worth of stuff. I know that big sets like this aren't for everybody, but for me, it just makes so much sense to build these massive sets for collectors, and something like this is perfect. Yes, it should have had better minifigs, but the reality is this is a perfect display piece and something you could literally put anywhere and it looks great from pretty much every single angle. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this set, if this is the best Pelican ever, and let me know how you feel about probably not getting anything like this ever again. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you again and we'll see you next time. Peace.